Hi there, and welcome to the wonderful world of Wendy. I'm still messing around with my selfie light. The last time I used it was for the cooking recipe I did. You can see that up here for the bagels. And I used the highest setting and it drowned out the what my working space and everything just looked really white. So now I'm using the lowest setting to see how it looks. There's another, there's one more setting and I'll try that next time. But for right now, I'm gonna use the lowest setting. So the reason I'm on here today is because it is the end of January. It's January 31st. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to open two of the packages that have been sitting on my desk, my Ipsy for January and my Lip Monthly for January. Ipsy right now and I'll make a video for the lip monthly because I wanted to show you guys before we unpack the Ipsy I wanted to show you um, the products that I have been trying and uh, I wanted to share with you whether I like them or not I believe that everything I put in the box today I do like and I wanted to show you what I've been using for um, for my makeup so first off uh, what I tried to do today is I used the products when I first got out of the shower washing my face I used some products that have come in boxes before. I don't remember which one this came in. I believe it was a birch box. This, I believe, is going to be expensive, but this is the Hydra C for under the eyes. I really like it. I have a feeling it might actually be helping my circles, but I've also been trying to drink a lot more water, which they say works. Um, but Hydra C, depending on how much it is for a full bo uh, bottle, I may or may not get it. I might, the jury's still out. I'm still using it. There's a few more applications left in here. But so far, not hating it. Second thing I used this today was the uh, Air Repair Moisturizer. I really like the way this goes on. It's a little bit thicker than the Clinique I use for every day. And I'll have to see if it keeps my skin moisturized. But so far, I do like this one. The next one that I used was, this is a BB cream that also has an SPF in it. It's called Kula. Eh, it was okay. I like the moisture part of it. I didn't like the coverage of it. It didn't really, It's. it was tinted, but the Clinique, which actually has a higher SPF, seems to give me just a little bit more color. So don't know that I would buy this one, but I don't, like I said, I don't hate it. It's just not screaming yay to me. And again, depending on how much it was would depend on what I, whether I would get it or not. I'll try it again, but right now it's not my favorite. Uh, tint cream that has sunscreen in it. Uh, I also tried this, I really like this. This I would actually consider getting, a, I, I don't even know how much it is. This is the Hanalei Lip Treatment, and I tried this today, and I actually really like it. It comes out thick, and it's a little bit more coverage than the Clinique stick that I have that I use, but I decided to use this today instead, and I so far, I really like this. It still has a lot in it. You only need a little bit, it goes a long way. Um, so depending on how much this is, when I'm done, I might actually purchase one of these. Okay, then for my makeup, um, I learned a secret from a makeup artist friend. I am not a makeup artist, I just play with makeup. But I really like this stuff. This came in one of my Lancome specials a, a ways back when I was buying a lot of Lancome from Nordstrom. This is their base. And this is the best base that I have found so far. So not only do I use it on my eyelids before I put on my eyeshadow, but I was also told to put it underneath the eyes and then put your cover up underneath it so that it doesn't sit in your lines. Because when you get my age, you start to get a little bit of lines. And because of all the sun damage I have, I just don't want it to you know, sit in my wrinkles and all that stuff. So I, um, I use this first, which I love, and then the other day I was in the drugstore and I came across this by accident. This is NYX, is this the way you say this company? I'm not even sure. I was calling it NYX, I think it might be NYX. I really like this. Um, this is a dark circle concealer. It's meant for dark circles. And I tried to gauge what color I was in, um, in the drugstore and I got this color. I think this is the light one. There was one that was pale, and I don't think I'm pale, so I got the light one. And th the thing is, is, I don't wanna stick my fingers in there, right? So back during um, Black Friday, you could see that video up here. One of the things I got during Black Friday was this brush. 
It was a little pricey. I think it was about $40, which to me is like, ah, but I did have a coupon for, um, I did have a coupon that day, so it kind of took away from the other thing that I got, which was those Fit Flops, which I absolutely love. So this is called Artis. And a girl, a customer that was at the counter heard me complain about, you know, putting on concealer. She said once she found this brush, it was a game changer for her, and I have to agree. I've been using this for a while now. It worked really good. You just stick this in there, and you put it on, and then after I'm done with that, you will see like a line of, you know, a brightness under your eye. Then I go back over it and I with a, a beauty buff, and then I buff it out. But I definitely like the combo of this with the brush. It may take the place of that tart that I bought that I'm still not sure I like, that I also got on Black Friday. This I really like, happened to pick it up at the drugstore. Okay, and this one I found at Nordstrom, this, the brush. Then what I did was, um, I happened to like putting um, shadow under my eye and on the very lid of my eye instead of eyeliner right away. So today I used this brush. I don't even know where I got this brush. Just all you need is just like a little brush like this. I don't know if you could see it. And I used, a, uh, this is a Lancome palette that I got as a gift. So just this color right there on the bottom, the sparkly black. You can get a sparkly black anywhere. I actually even have a L'Oreal one. And I just put it on both sides of my eye. Then I put, I have this palette that I got from, oh, what's the girl's name? I got it online. It's like a creamy palette. You can find these anywhere. But um, if I remember what her name was, I'll put it down below. It's JC. I'll think of it, but it's a really good palette. And I used for that one, I used this one up here, a light pink today. I just like really like the way it goes on. And so um, I was in the mood for a cream today. So I used that with the brush that it comes with. Then to go on top of that, I got this palette at Ulta during Black Friday. I used this one right here on the brow and I used a fluffy brush for that. Then when I was done with that, I used my Lord and Berry that I've got in a birch box just to put in the corners of my eye. I love Lord and Berry products and I like the strobe that goes in the corner of your eyes. There's also a pink one I have um, that I like to use also. Then I also use this that I got in a box. This one, I don't have my glasses on right now. This one is Smashbox. This I really, really like. This is a very good liner. It goes on so smooth. It's called, it's called Always on Gel Liner by Smashbox. It goes on so easily. It is up to date my favorite. It used to be Lancome that was my favorite for an eyeliner. I think this beats it. This I really, really like. Then I decided to use the sample that came in last month's Birch Box. You can find that up there. This is the Stilla Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Not a fan. I tried it. It's on my eyes right now. The reason, I, I mean, I like the look now that it's kind of dry, I guess. It's gunky. It goes on really, like I'm not really a big fan of the brush. Look at the brush. I don't know. I just, I'm not digging it. I mean, I'm, I might continue to use it just because it was part of the box, but it's not my favorite go-to. Right now, my favorite go-to is probably, if for a nice, even, thin lash, it's still the Chubby Mascara from Clinique. And the other one that I did get that I do like that came in a box was the MAC False Lash Mascara. Really like that. And I think I might like that better than the Too Faced. The Too Faced is great, but it dries out really fast. That's my only complaint. If you do get the Too Faced, I think I said this in one of my other videos, make sure you get the travel size, because A, it's cheaper, and B, if they're both going to get dry at the same amount of time, you might as well get the smaller one, because you're not gonna run out of it. So I used that mascara today. And then for my lips, I used the NYX pink that I got a while back. This one's called Flower. I really like this, it's a very light pink. And then on top of that, I put on the lacquer that I got on that Millennial box, you can see that up here, that I really like. It's very shiny and it's a very neutral color. It goes really well over a light pink lip liner. So that is what I did to my face today. So now we shall go on and open the Ipsy and see what we got this month. Oh wait, 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 I forgot one thing. The Tarte, the Tarte blush that I didn't think that I was gonna like, I actually really like. I have a lot of pink blushes from Lancome that I've been using, but I didn't think I was gonna like this and I really do. This is the one that's kind of like a peachy color that came in one of the birch boxes. I really like it. It's called Quirky, the color is Quirky, and I 
I happen to really like it. So that's what I'm wearing now. I'm not wearing any base makeup except for the tint that I put on over the moisturizer. I'm gonna go get my glasses and we're gonna open the Ipsy bag. I need these to read. All right, so Ipsy, let's see what we got. And then I'll have the Lip Monthly in a separate video. Okay, here is the bag that it came with. It's a cute bag. Oh yeah, I don't like this. So on one side it's just dark and this side's got a struct on the other. I think, think this is really cute. I may use this as one of my travel bags. And right out, not in that bag, is a revitalizing aloe rescue sheet mask. I have so many masks right now that I need to try that I haven't tried yet. I should try doing like one a week at least so I can get through all of them. This says vitamin E in all skin types. And then there's another one that's called a pomegranate crush. So that's another mask. And this is an illuminating fiber sheet mask with vitamin E for all skin types. Are masks like the new thing or am I missing out on something? Because all of a sudden all these boxes are giving out masks. I still have the bubble mask to use to try. So I've got this, these two also, and I think I've got two other ones to use from another box. So I need to get cracking on using some of these masks. Oh yeah, the Glam Glow. I still have this on the table. That's from the Millennial box. So I haven't used any of that anyway. So, all right, so, so far we got two masks in the Ipsy box and the Ipsy bag. All right, so let's see what we got. First thing is a brush. You know I love brushes. So there's, there's the brush. That's a good size brush. This could actually be a, a nice fluffy brush or I don't know if it's narrow enough to do a crease, but I could always use extra brushes. So this is a brush, yay. The second one is a NYX product. You know I love NYX. This is a full size, by the way. All right, this is, well, it's called Beauty Mark. Question is, is that for your eyes or your lips? I don't know. When you blend it out, I'm gonna say this is an eyeshadow. Why would you put brown on your lips? Still trying to find the name of it. They don't give you a card in Ipsy, which Ipsy, if you ever watch my videos, please put a card in your bag like Birchbox so I know what the product is. I like that about Birchbox. It's called, called NYX Lingerie. I just got my laptop so that I can look it up and figure out what the heck this is supposed to be. All right, well, this is actually a lipstick. It's called Lip Lingerie. And it says, slipped into something seductive with lip lingerie, our luxurious liquid lipstick with a plush matte finish. So it's gonna be a matte finish, like a lot of the other ones. Matte is very popular. I'm not even sure who came out with it first, but now all the companies are coming out with matte, which is probably why this is a new product. From cinnamon pink and chocolate brown, this one is on the brown side, as you can see by that swatch. Each sultry shade will coat your curves of your lips with irresistible creamy color. Okay, I'm not gonna put it on now because I do have other lipstick on. So it will be interesting to see if it dries quickly um, or if it smudges around. I've got a couple that have been smudging around kinds, but we'll see what happens. So I'm not sure I like the color. I've never really worn a brown lipstick, but I'll give it a try. Next item is Fierce Flex. I'm gonna look that up too, because I don't know what it is. Okay. So I looked this up, this is Ciate, if that's the way you pronounce the name of the company. It's called Fierce Flicks, and it is a black pencil. So let us, whoops, there's swatch it. It's very dark. It goes on very easily. It looks really dark. So I've been getting a lot, and it looks like it dries really quick too. I just went like this, look at that. It's not even smudging anymore. Wow, that's fast. No smudging. I will definitely give this one a try. It is not smudging. I literally just put it on. So make sure you have a good makeup remover to get it off at the end of the night. But there's nothing worse than having your makeup smear all over your face and then no one tells you. And then you go into the restroom and you look in the mirror and you're like, ah! <laughs> Don't tell me you haven't had one of those moments. Everybody has had one of those moments. I had one of those moments with the, <laughs> with the lipsticks and it looked like a clown put my, put my lipstick on. It was, it was not pretty. I was like, oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I'm like, why didn't anyone tell me? So if you're, if you're with me and you see something goofy about my makeup, please tell me, be a friend. 
That's a nice thing to do. Okay, I'm not even gonna get the rest of this wrapping off right now, but they wrap these very well. This is a full size, and I will definitely be trying that. Next up is, okay, so this is the fourth thing. So even though we got two face masks, they're counting as one. So two face masks, a lip, a lipstick mat, an eyeliner, a brush, and now an exfoliating cleanser. This one is with brown sugar and sweet almond oats. Oh, I bet this smells good. Let's smell it. I'm actually putting, oh, it's really gritty. Ooh, I think I might like that. It kind of feels like a salt scrub. Oh, it smells really good. Ooh. I usually exfoliate my face on Wednesdays and Sundays. Today was a Wednesday and I did not. So maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so I will definitely be trying that. That's going in my shower to try. And that is by Be Fine. So there you have it. Not a bad box. Um, I think that I definitely like the brush because I can always use extra brushes. And I'm really digging the liner because it looks like it is not going to smear again because I put it on and literally it it's it's um it's not coming off until I go and get makeup remover. All right, there we go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just hit that button below. I will be uploading another video of Lip Monthly uh, once I open that, which will be soon. And then uh, before you know it, February boxes are going to start coming in. And I've got a Trader Joe's haul coming up next week. I don't know how big a haul it's going to be. I do need to go grocery shopping there. Um, and yeah, so make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.